Welcome to www.westsidefordmercurydesmoines.com. Today's topic: What are electrical diagnostics for your car? Cars are very high tech today. There's no doubt that a computer runs a lot of sensors on the car, from the oil pressure to the tire pressure to how close an object is to the car. Even if you don't have a new car, there are electrical components to your car that need a diagnosis on occasion. What are some of those electronics? The windshield wipers on an older car are electronic. They have intermittent control. In certain vehicles, there's a rear wiper. All of the wipers have a switch that controls their speed. What happens if the speed goes haywire and doesn't respond to where you turn it? You have some type of short in the circuit. Other problems that can be electrical stem from the battery. Sure, you need gas to run your car, but if the battery won't turn over the engine to start it, you won't ever need that gas. A technician can look at your car and figure out why the circuits on your battery aren't connected right or tight, and get the problem fixed. Coming out from class or work in the dark and having a car that won't start is no fun. No matter what type of problem you are having with the car because of an electrical problem, there are a few ways to diagnose it. When a light comes on your dashboard to check the engine and you don't hear anything wrong, you might be stumped. You can take the car into an auto parts store or even to the dealership, and they have a device you can connect the car up to. The auto parts store will allow you to do it yourself, since they aren't authorized to make a diagnosis on your car. The dealership will perform this, since they can fix your car. But what the contraption is is a box with a few wires. The wires connect to wires underneath the steering column inside of your vehicle. Once the part is connected, it will read the car's computer and be able to tell exactly what code caused the light to come on in the car. The code will be a sensor that is off, a belt going bad, or some other circuit that is misfiring within the engine or other place on your car. Once you know the code, you can have the item repaired and be back on your way. To find out more information on topics like this, go to www.westsidefordmercurydesmoines.com. 